Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Classic Physique final results of the Arnold Classic UK, and of course, as expected, the winner is Wesley Wissers. But we do have an upset. Brion Ainsley pulled ahead of Urs Kaletinski, even though Urs was improved. And I got a couple of things to say about that, as well as about Wesley Wister's winning, and also about the 4th place finisher, Michael the Bull. so let's go! I think the main thing that we got from this show is that Wesley Wister put some distance between him and the rest of the guys. Ramon Dino wasn't here, I don't know what the case would be if Ramon was there and if he was really on, like he was at the Mr. Olympia, but as far as Urs, Brion and the other guys, there is a really big gap and... I don't think Urs Kaletinski will ever beat Wesley again. Now that's as long as Wesley brings good conditioning and that's not very easy to do. A lot of guys struggle with that, they bring it sometimes, they bring it once and never again and Wesley used to have a problem with that, big time problem. I don't know who was coaching him before, I think he prepped himself... But now that he's working with Stefan or Stefan Kainz, the new superstar coach of the pros, coach of Nathan Diasha, of Urs Kalatinsky and Wesley now, I think he made tremendous progress with him in terms of conditioning and just overall peak. Later in this video, we're going to do a comparison of Wesley now and Wesley Ohio. So we're going to see what is actually the difference in those two packages. But basically, as long as Wesley keeps bringing this conditioning, I think there is going to be a big gap between everybody and him, and I think if Ramon brings his absolute best at the Mr. Olympia, it's gonna be a three-man call-out, Wesley, Ramon and Sibam, and then everybody else. I spoke earlier about Wesley losing momentum if he loses this show, but if he wins this show as he did, he gained some momentum. I mean, not a lot, really, he just maintained conditioning for two weeks, he didn't really prove that he can bring it every year, every time, every show. Hopefully he will prove that at the Mr. Olympia. But with these two wins, Arnold, Ohio and UK, he is coming strong. He is coming strong to challenge Chris Bumstead and potentially beat him and take that title away. But I think as long as he's like 90%, he's gonna be in that top three at the Mr. Olympia, which would be freaking amazing. Now, as far as Urs Kaletsinski, he significantly improved for the Arnold UK. I think he definitely improved more than Brion Ainsley. For some reason, he lost to Brion. Why? How? Well, even though he did improve, this is not the best version of Urs. He was definitely better than Mr. Olympia, at Arnold Classic last year even, and based on the prejudging, it looked like Brion could pull ahead, because he did have some really good poses. Personally, I would never give it to Brion. I don't see how conditioning and details had that big of a role. I thought in Classic they do value structure a lot more, but yeah, I mean, they do, but not that much, apparently. Because, yeah, Urs, even though he was improved, this is not Urs at 100%. And this was Brion Ainsley at 100%. For his today's standards. But I would never give this victory to him because of his legs, guys. Look at his legs. They are throwing me off way too much. They are too flat, I really don't like the shape of them, and just overall, size. There's no size. Brion lost all the fullness, all the roundness, basically all the mass he had on his legs. This happens very often with age. Legs are the first body part that goes with age, and in Brion's case, it's been getting worse year after year, show after show, it did not look good at the Arnold UK. Somehow, he pulled the victory. I mean, versus Urs Kaletinski. The way I feel about this is the judges punished Urs. They basically told him, if you don't come in ready, you're gonna play slower than you expect. You are not gonna win. You're not even gonna play second. You're not gonna be awarded just for your shape, your genetics, your charisma, your popularity. If you're not in shape, you go down. And that's what happened, uh, Urs placed third at this show, Brion pulled the win, and this is the pose basically where Brion kills everybody, basically. I mean, his back is just insane, his glutes are peeled, uh, great, great 212 bodybuilder, uh, sorry, classic physique guy, I mean, his physique is not really the prettiest, but, you know, he, he won because of conditioning. 
Not necessarily something I would agree with, but I see the point of doing this. Now, the interesting thing about Michael the Bull is his Instagram post. And we're gonna start a new drama with Michael the Bull, just like it was with Samson. So he made this post and he says, prejudging is done. Definitely the sharpest and the best I ever looked. Coaching myself was difficult, blah, blah, blah. Coaching myself. Wasn't this guy coached by Patrick Tour up until Arnold Classic Ohio? Yeah, he was. You can see him everywhere on Patrick's Instagram. What happened here? These guys keep dropping coaches every day. And they don't say anything. I don't think Michael the Bull made a post. He never said anything about stopping working with Patrick Tour. He just all of a sudden makes a post and he says, coaching myself was difficult, blah, blah, blah. I mean, coaching himself for two weeks... And also, he says, this is the sharpest and definitely the best I ever looked. Haha, <laughs> it was not. It definitely wasn't. Yeah, he placed fourth here, but it's the same as Ohio. Just without Ramon, no other big name guys were there. And as far as conditioning, this does not look like his best conditioning ever. He definitely brought better conditioning before, with Patrick Tour. Especially last year at the Austria show against uh, uh, Stefan Matala when he won his uh, Olympic qualification, and also Arnold Ohio, he was better than he was here, so he is delusional, he's definitely not seeing things right, and it's really hard to see things right when you're coaching yourself, I know that, that's why I have a coach, that's why everybody pretty much has a coach, so coaching yourself is truly difficult, but seeing yourself and what you really look like, that's definitely the hardest part, and Michael the Bull has trouble seeing himself right now, this is not his best version, he should go back to Patrick Tour and continue prepping with him, because if he continues doing the entire prep alone, I don't think he's gonna place as high at the Mr. Olympia, but yeah, he placed fourth here, congrats for that. Alright, now back to the winner, Wesley Wissers, so he won, uh, it was pretty easy for him to win this, he really didn't have much of a competition here, but now let's compare his Arnold Ohio version versus... UK. Now, the main thing I notice is that the lighting was not the same. I'm not saying it was bad. At the Ohio, it was really good. In the UK, it was okay. But also, I think Wesley was... I don't think he had the same glaze on, and I don't think he was as full. I think he was fuller at the Arnold Ohio. Conditioning-wise, I think he was there, but I think he went a little bit overboard, and I think he flattened himself a little bit too much, and he couldn't fill himself out enough. And I saw those physique updates uh, one day or like two days, one day before uh, starting the carb up, and you guys probably watched that video, and you heard me say that he looked flat, and he did. And yeah, he carved up successfully, but still, when you go super flat, it's hard to come back. So he didn't come back fully, but he was good enough to win, and also the Arnold Ohio was like one of the most perfect peaks in, in bodybuilding I saw in a long, long time. I think that and maybe Phil Heat 2011 and maybe you can say Seabomb 2022, there are probably other examples but like when I saw Wesley at the Ohio he was so on, like that was 110% and that's really difficult to repeat, especially so close, in two weeks, hopefully he will be able to do that again for the Mr. Olympia, we'll see, but you know as far as repeating it two times in two weeks, that's pretty much impossible, I don't think anybody expected this, but yeah, I thought there was a chance of Wesley losing to Urs, for example, yeah, there wasn't, there was no chance, I think Wesley set a big distance between him and Urs and other guys, and it's only Sibam and maybe Ramon Dino who can beat this guy today, I can't wait to watch the Olympia, it's gonna be super exciting. Just compare Wesley to Brion here. This is the difference between the winner and the second place finisher. It's not even close, man. It's not even funny. And as far as Michael the Bull, definitely not his best and his sharpest version. Urs improved, not enough. Did he deserve to be placed third below Brion Ainsley? In my opinion, no. But as punishment, sure, I'm not against that. <laughs> so, down below in the comment section, guys, I want to hear your thoughts on these things, on these four things. Did Urs deserve to be placed third below Brion? Was this Michael the Bull's best version ever? And can Wesley Wissers repeat his peak for the Mr. Olympia and win? Does he have 
enough momentum now? Is he gonna be compared to Chris Bumstead? Is he the main challenger? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more stuff like this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon, guys. Tomorrow, actually, for the Open Finals. Thank you guys so much once again. All the best and bye-bye.